Hey guys, you work up here, and it's here! FIFA 16 is here, finally! Jesus Christ, it feels like forever! <laughs> it feels like it's been forever, seriously, it took so long for this game to come out, but it's so going to be worth it. It's already worth it, I've already, as you can see, I've, I'm at the Stoke game, which I've already played through preseason, I've got my hands on that training mode and let me tell you friends training mode is probably the best thing EA have ever done not a lot of competition there but it's a good thing oh my god training training may be overpowered this year just, I'm, I'm just gonna go on a limb for career mode, training may be overpowered. It, it's just, it's just a thought. But yeah, training could be overpowered. Anyway, it's FIFA 16. It's my Liverpool career mode. I, Kurt Pierce. Let's get back to business, boys. He's legendary, of course, because. I don't roll on lower difficulties like other YouTubers who are pussies He's, and uh, are saying legendary is too hard. I beat the PSG Barcelona and Bayern Munich on legendary. Yes, this team is much better than the one Brendan Rodgers is using for now because he will be sacked soon, I can guarantee it. But these are improvements that need to be made. You can see the uh, obvious new boys like Marco Royce, Gareth Bale, um, Laporte, Varane, Ricardo Rodriguez, is, and the best. So, uh, I can't pronounce that goalkeeper's name. I'm very sorry. I can't pronounce it. I'm just calling him Aaron for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I'm calling him Aaron. And as you can see, no Christian Benteke. Because Danny Ings is on fire. He is absolutely killing it. He was my best player by a mile in preseason. And Daniel Sturridge scored five goals. So that tells you how good Ings played. And this is the first time I'm using Coutinho in this game because him and Firmino just weren't available for preseason because they were away with Brazil. Anyway, I've done enough talking. Let's get into this. It's because I'm, I'm pumped. I can barely contain myself. This is this is it. This is it. The return of FIFA. Now, in real life, Liverpool won this fixture one 0 That wasn't good enough. It was a late goal, and it was one of only two wins. Brendan Rodgers has. has Achieved this season. I don't count the Carlisle game because he should have won that in normal time. But he needed penalties, which is why he should. Is what of uh, many reasons why he should be sacked. I'm I'm guaranteeing it. If we don't win the Merseyside derby this weekend, I'm putting. I'm saying right there and then he's gone. We need he will. He has to win the Merseyside Derby this weekend. And at the rate we're going, I don't think we will. I really don't think we will. Well, because if we can barely beat Carlisle United, who, no offense, are in League 2, who, then how are we going to play beat Everton, who are, are way better than they were last season? I don't even think we could beat Everything from last season while they were on their bad form from at this point. Hell, I don't even think we could beat Chelsea. We're probably playing just as bad as us, but at least they're getting wins. Oh, shit! A good start, Jordan Henderson. Seven minutes in, and, ca and the new captain strikes the first blow. See, it took me seven minutes to do what Brent Rogers' team couldn't 
do until like the A fifth. And that was a hell of a goal as well. Oh, not giving um, Jack Butland much of a chance. Uh, it's a good spot. First goal in the Premier League, it's John Anderson. This is Mark Royce. Ings. Shakiri is closing me down, so pass it to Klein. Alright, back to Ings. Rodriguez. Royce. Let's beat. Ah, oh, damn it, I thought I could get past Shakiri, Sh but. It was a. Uh, Came away with the ball there. This time I've got past him. And these caught up to me. Work the ball into the box. Now if they fuck on me. Continue looking for. Look. Oh. He did score against him in real life, so it would be realistic if he scored in this game. If he scored in FIFA as well. Although. It's not very realistic when I have Royce and Bale in my team. Um, some big names will come to Liverpool soon, especially if the new, if uh, the uh, rumor that's going around is true. And uh, if you don't know, apparently during the week, he, former Chelsea and Real Madrid manager Carlo Ancelotti, a manager who's won the Champions League three times and has won the Premier League. He, like I said, he was former manager Chelsea. He also won the FA Cup with them. Carlo Ancelotti was approached, apparently, to take the Liverpool job if Brendan Rodgers is sacked. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds good to me. And Colo Ancelotti, he definitely has this, this is what we're looking for. But he's a good, experienced manager. Right, in terms of, of, of success. Definitely going to give Jurgen Klopp Pop something to think of about. All of a sudden, it seems to be a two horse race between Klopp and, uh, and Ancelotti. Everyone thought it would be Klopp, but now Ancelotti seems to be the man to be for the job. Not the best for a kick, but then again, what's new? Hello. It wasn't that far away, just over the bar. Huh? Could have been worse. Just smashed it out of the fucking stadium, to be honest. So it could have been way worse. Go, Marco! Nathaniel Klein! Don't know why I went for the shot, <laughs> to be honest. I don't even think. Although I scored a a worldie in um in preseason, although there was no goalkeeper in goal, so I don't really know if it counts. A lot of you, some of you, are just huh, they're just like, wait, what's he talking about? Let me explain. Um, in my first um group game in the in the preseason tournament, I was playing Barcelona. I was 2 nothing up through goals from Daniel Sturridge and Marco Royce and Barcelona won a corner. So as you do, they 
the uh, keeper came up, you know, it was like the 80 something minute, and like I said, it was 2 nothing up. So, the corner went straight to my goalkeeper. I threw the ball, it ended up at the feet of Daniel Sturridge. The keeper was off his line, I took the shot, and it bounced into the net. I was, um, I was roughly where the Laporte is now. As he was the ball to Juve. <laughs> and there's half time. But yeah. So, uh, a bit of a mistake by, uh, Bravo. But, um, I guess it was, uh, Barcelona's own fault for sending him up to. And that wasn't the only, uh, goalkeeping error in the preseason. In the second game I decided to start Danny Ings, as you do. I was trying to give I was trying to utilize my strikers, see who's best. And in the first game I tried to use uh in um Benteke, but he just he just didn't do it for me. He just I I knew I knew as soon as we signed him he wouldn't be our kind of player. Uh, I knew he wouldn't even fit my system. I, I don't play crossing balls, even though I did just crossing the ball. But I don't go for headers. I don't try and score headers unless it's from a corner. And Christian Benteke is a very good aerial player. But, you know, we don't need an aerial player because that's not the way we play. But Brendan Rodgers is like, uh, for some reason, you know, well, when he came, we did have an aerial player by the name of Andy Carroll, who he got rid of because he didn't fit our system. Then, genius as that Brandon Rogers is, decided, hmm, let's get a player just like Andy Carroll. Because that makes perfect sense. It's, it's. So yeah, when Brandon Rogers is sacked, you can look back at that moment when he decided he wanted Christian Benteke and decide, yeah, bad move. Shouldn't have done that. Well, like I said, the um, Barcelona error was not the only goalkeeping error I uh, that happened in, in preseason. So I. Put an over top through ball, and uh, the ball ended up going to Ings. And I was like, okay. I saw the keeper was off his line. I was like, let me go for a chip. Let me try and chip this keeper. And if I do, I'll be like, yes, I chipped him. And maybe that will teach the CPU, don't bring your keeper out. That's always a risk. And what happened? The ball went right over the keeper's head. He tried to save it, he couldn't, and Ings scored. Ings scored a hat trick in that game, and it was actually against Wolfsburg. So, no surprise that they, they're uh, they're a bit familiar at the moment with uh, conceding a lot of goals to a striker, mainly a man named Robert Lewandowski, and in about ten motherfucking minutes. I still don't believe that happened. You know, it did, and I don't know why I should be surprised. I mean, Lewandowski is probably, he's definitely one of the best uh, strikers in the world. You know, I think he's not rated really as highly as he should be. And I think it's because he doesn't play for one of the quote unquote big nations. Because he plays for Poland, because he's Polish, people don't rate him as highly as he as they would if he was, say, German or French or Spanish. That's just a that's just an opinion. I could be wrong on that. I know he is at E seven in this game, but. Still, he could easily be an 88, maybe even an 89. Oh, he could be on Ebra's level of 90. But 
No. And is it because he's nationality is Polish? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I hate racist against Polish people. I don't know. That's that's you'd have to ask them that, and they'd probably deny it. questions now, don't that? <laughs> thing I have going for me right now. <laughs> nah, I keep a still not considered a goal. You kept a clean sheet in every single one of my preseason friendlies and he's kept a clean sheet in the first game of the season. So, uh, very well done. They're yeah, clapping the uh, away fan. So, yeah. The goal from John Henderson was the only one. But uh, as you can see, I clearly dominated that match. And it could have been more. And probably should have been more. But as it is, 1 0. It's a win, it's three points. Everything is going very well. There's a new, no, one of the new features, the uh, two year long now. So there goes Sergi Kenos, who actually uh, played my last. A group game against Bayern Munich. He actually scored, believe it or not. He scored the third goal in what was a 3 0 win. So. And it was actually a volley. It's, I'd argue it was the better of the three goals. So, uh, there he goes off to play for, for, uh, for Braxton. North End. Can he get them promoted? Well, he has two seasons to do it. <laughs> Seventh. Just like that, I'm already higher than Brendan Rodgers. I gotta play a few less games. Rockrin. It's not really in my plans, so yeah. Go right ahead and take him to Shrewsbury. Uh, the feed does not matter to me. He's not really gonna fit in. I already have four right backs. So, yeah. I don't need four right backs. I don't know who does need four right backs. Let's, let's be honest here. No. To sell future offers, I don't want to sell Daniel Sturridge. Good to see that's not that's still there. The uh, if your player is uh, playing well, he will attract some attention. The Rock already being on PSG. Give me sixty and a half million, and you can have him. <laughs> Give us some of that money, money, yeah. Um, if you can give me 1.3 Ryan, 
Uh, then yeah, you can have, uh, you can have it yourself. She goes on uh, the Cochrane. Can't train for the Bournemouth game. Ah well, that's no problem. I'll, uh, I'll do some training afterwards. First home game of the season. First game in Anfield in FIFA 16. Hey! Stop passing it to Henderson, who's just standing there. She made some signs in the transfer window and I, at the end of this match I will show you who I signed and how much I paid for them. You will not believe the deals I got. And yes, I do mean deals. They were steals! <laughs> Storage! Ah, oh, that was a that was a very shitty goal, but yeah, it doesn't matter, it's 1-0. And there is the signature the celebration of Daniel Sturridge. Okay, this play by Bournemouth. That player should have really cleared the ball before Ings took the ball off him. I'm not going to complain because the ball is in the back of the net. And it's 1-0 to me. No controversy about that goal. So, pre-season that would uh, be six goals for them with the rich. Looking for Coutinho again. Hmm. That would have been very soft if they'd given a penalty there. Oh! It was almost the exact same thing happened again. Off of a save, this time my scuffed it. And Royce cannot believe it. I I'm sorry, Roy Marco, that was my fault. I'm not sure how I missed that. It's totally my fault. My bad. Maybe I should have taken a touch instead of hitting that first time. Ah well. I will get more chances. Ings is Henderson. So I should have passed it back to Ings instead of passing it in. Whilst it was looking for Continue but went straight to goalkeeper very key oh, sorry, he's given a penalty <laughs> I was wondering hmm? Hmm. Hmm. I played inside it got saying hmm. hmm. I mean it's hard to argue that was a that wasn't the penalty. Even if I wasn't a Liverpool fan, I'd have 
hard time arguing that. And now uh, Marco Royce scores his first Premier League goal and it is 2-0. Rooted to the spot. Hmm, that didn't go to plan. Oh well. Never mind. Bell. Sturridge. Gonna try and get this third goal before half time. Sakai. Back to uh, Bell. Bell! Ooh! Almost his first goal back in the Premier League. Not on that occasion though. Should have gone for an over the top pass I wouldn't have mattered. Is it was it Coutinho? Yeah, Philip is uh, offside. Luckily the linesman actually got that right. <laughs> would have been quite awkward if he had gotten it wrong. Keep considering that's pretty much what happened in real life. The decision, an offside decision was uh, was judged wrong and uh, yeah, the goal that should have, should have been disallowed was allowed and Bournemouth Arguably, we're robbed. I can't admit to that. I mean, no. and then what's funny is the opposite thing happened in the very next game against Arsenal. A goal that should have been allowed wasn't. Uh, very bizarre, very bizarre, to say the very least. I think uh, we might see the introduction of Robert Firmino at some point in this match, because Coutinho is a little tell on the tired side, so I'll maybe late in the game I will introduce Roberto. Speaking of the Arsenal fixture, they're talking about it. Continue. Foul. Oh. Or not. <laughs> Massive bad gun in. Dangs. Going for the goal. Nothing. I think it's time for substitutions. Well, um, hey, see, already one of my signs, Angel Correa, signed him from Atletico Madrid for 12 million. Yeah. I also got Sewell for 4 million. You think I'm joking, I guarantee it. There's people like, no you didn't. I did! I got four, four million plus Martin Skirtle. It was a steal. 
Yeah. Also got a uh, promising sentiment to replace James Milner when he retires. Storage three nil. Huh. I, I was actually thinking it might have been offside. It might be offside, but no, it's not. At least the game doesn't seem to think it is. Carlo Rodriguez with an assist in his second game. And he'll start with second of the game. Not the traditional celebration, but it doesn't really matter what celebration he does, does it? And then, uh, this one. Just want to see if he has any impact on the last couple of minutes. Storage? Ooh, this time. Mm. Right place, right time. Which hasn't happened in the past uh, for Silva and this time against Liverpool. He's usually have, he usually has bad luck, especially in FA Cup semi finals. I won't say more because you all know what I'm talking about. Is it, uh, yeah. That time, he was in the right place at the right time. For Firmino, ooh, didn't get to him though. Could have been a great moment for uh, uh, dropping the ball to him, but didn't work that way. And some four days challenge for the ball, here's our cane. Ooh, that could have been it. That could have been the consolation and the first goal I would have conceded with this goalkeeper. But uh, not on that occasion, Gosling was just unlucky. It would have been bittersweet if you're Dan Gosling because you, he conceded the penalty that made it 2-0, so uh, we were feeling made up for if he had scored there. There's maybe he still feels guilty. Not really much to feel guilty about when it's 3-0. I mean, if it had been 1-0 and the penalty was the only goal, then, well maybe then there would have been something to feel guilty about, but not when it was, not when it's 3-0. So, uh, if Gosling was feeling guilty, he doesn't have to be too hard on himself. Because it was my game to win, considering I was already 1 0 up by the time he hit it, can see the penalty. And uh, of course, Daniel Sturridge probably got mad at the match. Assuming that's what that means. The new animations are quite interesting. And this new match highlights menu thing is pretty. Be cool as well. All in all, FIFA 16 looks a lot better than FIFA 15. It feels a lot better. It, it, it's all around, it just seems a lot better. Nah, there we go. There's the top four after two games. It's a mercy side. He. He's dominant in uh, the top four at the moment because Everton are top with Arsenal in second. I'm in third. Manchester United are fourth, and the top seven are filled up with Chelsea in fifth, Sunderland in sixth, and Manchester City in seventh. So, in the next episode, 
but I will, will continue on. And but yeah, FIFA 16 is back. Heck, but it's not just the Liverpool career mode that's back because it's come up soon. I'll be restarting my secondary career mode, and I can and I'm going to give you a spoiler. My first career mode is with gem inside Borussia Mönchengladbach. Um, if you're looking for that, give a like. And if you like the fact that FIFA 16 is out and the career mode is back, also leave a like, maybe a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.